Hello and welcome to Rhino's Ravens Review from Week 17, 2022. We got it. We're in the playoffs. Yes, Ravens did beat the Falcons. As you can see here, I'm on BaltimoreRavens.com. I'm looking at the little Game Center box score thing they got going on here. Ravens won 17-9. They did clinch a playoff spot. How that happened was uh, the Jet, both the Jets and the Patriots lost. So therefore, it, as far as seeding goes, that's still up in the air. But nobody can take a spot from them, which is good. Now, I want them to win a game in the playoffs. Otherwise, I really don't see the point. I mean, just getting into the playoffs is it's nice and all. But <laughs> you got to get a win once you're in the playoffs, too. Otherwise... What's the point? Might as well have not gone, gotten in anyway. I mean, what? Other good news. Good job, Greg Roman. I'll give you a thumbs up. Good job. For now, anyway. You finally got a wide receiver a touchdown. Holy shit. You see, scroll down, see some stats. You see the receiving set. Not a lot, whole lot of passing going on. So, I mean, that, that is kind of a good thing. Of course, it is. It was the Falcons. The Falcons not playing that well this year. You can see nine of seventeen is not great as far as passing goes. One hundred fifteen yards. That's the very low numbers. You can see it went to Demarcus Robinson. Six yard. Oh, wait, no, six yard. Yeah, six yards. So <laughs> it's, it's nice to see them get to the red zone and be able to punch the ball in. Instead of, what was it? Oh, it was somewhere in the third quarter, I think it was, that they got down in there. Yeah, Ed, Edwards broke off. Edwards actually outrushed J.K. Dobbins this week. One less carry, too. Edwards had a, had a big gain, 30, as you can see, 37 yards. And, of course, that time... That time they didn't get in. They couldn't throw to a wide receiver. They couldn't run the ball in. Had to settle for a Justin Tucker field goal. Uh, I mean, when you're playing a team like the Falcons and you can do that to where you, yes, maybe you're not punching it in the end zone all the time, but you are keeping the Falcons off. So it works. You still would like to see them punch the ball into the end zone. I mean, you get into the red zone. If around the 10-yard line, even better, and you can't get it in the end zone. I got to do better than that. You really got to do better than that. I don't know why. I don't know why. I, I don't understand it. Harbaugh. Harbaugh again. Ridiculous challenge. The Falcons' first drive in the third, in the third quarter. When a ball went to the to the left side, the quarterback's left side, there was pass interference on the on the call. So Harbaugh, I guess, decided, oh, I want to try to get uh, try to get my guy off the hook for pass interference. Like, um, it didn't. Yes, Jonathan Pierre-Paul had a hand up near the pass, but to me and to everybody else, it did not look like he changed the trajectory of the ball. The ball looked like he came out fine. Pat, you know, I mean, if you're watching on the TV or in a stadium, you can usually tell that the ball is is not as tight of a spiral, or you know, it doesn't fly just th that one way, that that certain way. You you can like it wobbles a little bit. You can tell, but this pass didn't see any wobbling, anything. But Harbaugh said, "Oh, I want to challenge it anyway." Well, thank God, timeouts did not come into play into this. Especially because he wasted a timeout in the second half. Like, second half timeouts are almost more important than timeouts in the first half. Here you go, John Harbaugh. <laughs> wasted. Why? I mean, can you not learn from your own mistakes? Maybe you should find a video booth review guy you got working for you and fire him. Which I mentioned that before. So this is not like the first time. So don't think I'm just hating on John Harbaugh. It's more like 
you keep making the same mistake and then keep making the same mistake and then keeping it in it. One of these days, you're going to have to change or you're going to have to go. I say you got to go because this is not the first time we've heard John about John Harbaugh wasting timeouts and these ridiculous challenges. I get it. You want to make your guys feel good. You want to fight for you guys on the field and make them like you more. Okay. I mean, that's not necessarily wrong, but can you not waste timeouts? Your offense isn't that good in the first place. You have no idea how many points you're going to score. You don't know Tyler Huntley fumbled the ball after this. You don't know that the Falcons aren't going to cover that. You don't know that. I mean, it, Huntley could have fumbled the ball again. When you start turning the ball over like that, those points start swinging the other way. Went good for us this game, but you don't know especially with this team and their inability to score and their inability to even maintain possession sometimes, either by not getting first downs or turning the ball over. So you can't just throw away your timeouts because what guy may have gotten a hand on it. Defense played pretty good this week. I it's another reason why I'm shocked that Harbaugh decided to waste his time out to try to help the defense a little bit. Look, I mean, did he get a few sacks? Let me go find the defensive stat page. I'm going to have to go to the NFL.com because for whatever reason, you can see here on the Ravens website, there's no defensive stats. So let's go to, this is the NFL.com. Let's get rid of that. Oh, we got to wait for the page to load up. They got a few sacks. They didn't get a whole lot. Uh, I felt like they were in the backfield quite a bit and did just didn't get home. I mean, the ball came out a little too quick, maybe. Hamilton, I thought, had a really nice play where he went. He came screaming into the backfield. The running back didn't pick him up enough. It didn't pick him up quick enough in time, and he definitely affected a pass. He almost, he almost tipped it, but tipped it. I, <laughs> I said that. Tipped it. Tipped it. Tipped it. Let's go to Ravens. But anyway, uh, Hamilton definitely seemed like this game, he was down more in the box, which is kind of really where he shines more. He's not really much of a cover man. He see had a few passes defenses. Chuck Clark almost forced a good interception. Popped the ball up and we almost get we had a good shot to got good shot to get it. See man Abike got a sack. Stevens and Queen both got half of one and Peters got one. Roquan Smith. Roquan Smith looked great. Really went side to side. It was a good thing that they did make the trade for him because that running back for the Falcons, that uh Algiers. That's a big boy. He broke many, many, many tackles. The Falcons only had a chance to win this game at all because of him. There were many times where the Ravens would get to him, but then they couldn't bring him down by himself. They needed somebody else. So the guy, like, dragging a few people for a few yards. They said, uh, the defense, they did hold held them out of the end zone, and the one time... Falcons got really close to the end zone. It was actually uh, Ritter, Desmond Ritter, the quarterback for the Falcons, that actually tripped up Algiers and fell, fell flat on his face a few yards from the end zone, and they couldn't get in. They couldn't punch it in either. It was like, wow. Almost had to, you know, give up a touchdown. Thankfully, Falcons quarterback was playing for us a little bit there. Ritter help uh, on to the playoffs. Hopefully we get this offense straightened out. I don't know. I mean, Hunt, I, I could have sworn I thought Huntley looked better passing the ball last year. 
He doesn't look that good this year. Greg Roman, if Greg Roman is going to stick around, uh, I, I, it's looking like the coaching staff, coaching staff is going to stay intact for now. Which, I mean, makes sense. I mean, I, I know what, who was it? Denver. Denver fired their coach, I think it was. Um, they're losing. They have a losing record, so we can demand that you know, Greg Roman or John Harbaugh get fired, but with a winning record and a playoff berth, it's not going to happen right now. So, hopefully, Greg Roman gets his butt to work, gets the offense straightened out. I mean, the running, the running game is, is fantastic. And I, I mean, I guess that's one thing why I don't really, it's one reason why I don't really understand it. This rushing attack for the Ravens is so potent. How can you not throw the ball down the field? I mean, nine for seventeen. It's like either either your your pass plays suck and nobody's getting open, or you have no personnel to get open, or you don't have the quarterback that can actually throw a ball to a guy. I mean, you can see right like like thirty ish rushing attempts, and you got almost two hundred yards. That is a ridiculous average. We got two more games left to see how what kind of seeding we can get. Pittsburgh coming up uh, Sunday. I guess it, it got flexed to Sunday night. And then Cincinnati the week after that. So we got a good shot to get to win a division. And... Should get a home playoff game after that, but excuse me, got to get we got to get something going in the passing game. Really have to get something going in the passing game. We're not going to be able to. I honestly don't know how the Ravens won that game earlier. I guess Cincinnati just hadn't gotten their motor going in the season, the start of the season, the first half of the season. But it, it sure as heck, it sure as hell looks like Cincinnati's got it going in right now, and you, we're not going to be able to keep up with them in a game without being able to throw the ball a little bit. You can run the ball, you can run the ball five times and get a hundred yards, but you can't throw the ball five times and get fifty yards. I it, it's so odd. Yeah, remember Sunday night, Steelers. Uh, I have another show, but uh, in a few days, uh, I'll put out another show. Great win, Ravens. Harbaugh, you better learn to stop throwing your timeouts away like that, or you're going to be going just like Greg Roman. It's all for me. I'm the Angry Rhino. Fly, Ravens, fly.